Hi kids. This is lesson 21 for Al's Pals, using kind words. Now the purpose of the lesson is to teach you guys words that are kind and how to use them. And also teach you guys that our words affect other people's feelings. I need you to think about that. So, how about this? Would you guys like to sing, Al, will you come out? Maybe Al will come out and talk to you guys. Remember how it goes? Well, I'm going to play it right now. And sing, and maybe he'll come out. Today we are going to talk about how our words make other people feel. Did you know your words have power? They can make people feel good or can hurt their feelings. The words we choose can change the way other people feel. When we use kind words like please, thank you, or excuse me, we make people feel good and we can get along better. When we use mean words or call people names, we hurt people's feelings and make them feel sad or angry. Let's think about this for a minute. Tell me how you would feel if someone asks you to play. Someone tells you they don't like you and you should go away. You drop your crayons on the floor and someone says, can I help you? You drop your crayons on the floor and someone laughs at you and calls you clumsy. You give your friend a birthday gift and they smile and say thank you. You give your friend a birthday gift and they throw it on the floor and say, I hate that. You are standing in line waiting to go outside and a child runs and bumps into you and says, I'm sorry. You are standing in line waiting to go outside and a child runs and bumps into you and yells, get out of my way. You are playing with a ball and someone asks, may I play with you? Or may I play too? How about you are playing with a ball and someone grabs it away saying, I want it now. It really does look like our words can change how people feel. My friends and I try to use kind words because they make people happy and help them get along better. Then we can have fun together. That's much better than using mean words. They hurt people's feelings and can even make people fight with each other. Our words really do have power. Your teacher has a new song to teach you. It's called Power Words. I'm going to go now so you can learn the song. Guys, why don't we sing Bye Bye to Al? Remember how that song goes, Bye Bye Al? Well, let me play it. Hey, okay, ready? Now it's time to say goodbye. Now, the song that we're going to learn is called Power Words. Now, I'm going to read the song to you like a story. 
and then I'm going to play the song, and we're going to discuss it, and then play the song again, and you guys can sing along. Now, there are also signs that we use for the basic concepts of the chorus, but first let me read it to you. Would you like, this is the chorus, would you like to play with me? Sure, I'd love to. Yes, sirree. Please and thank you. Haven't you heard? These are my power words. Words have power, so I say. Words that help me every day. Please and thank you. Haven't you heard? These are my power words. And we sing the chorus. Would you like to play with me? Sure, I'd love to. Yes, sirree. Please and thank you. Haven't you heard? These are my power words. Here's the next verse. Mean things that I say to you hurt your feelings, so I choose. Words that help us get along. Power words are strong. Then we do the chorus again. <clears throat> Would you like to play with me? Sure, I'd love to. Yes, sirree. Please and thank you. Haven't you heard? These are my power words. And then we sing the last one. I am sorry is what I say. If I should hurt you in any way. Words can help us get along. Power words are strong. And then we end with the chorus. Would you like to play with me? Sure, I'd love to. Yes, sirree. Please and thank you, haven't you heard? These are my power words. Now, I'm going to find it on the CD and I'm going to play it so you can hear how the song goes. Listen carefully so you can hear how it goes. show you the gestures that we use. Now, 
during the chorus when they say please, you place your hand over your heart and rub it in circles. Remember where it goes please and thank you? So that's what you do when Morris says please. Now thank you, bring your hand to your mouth and bring it down. Now that, please, and thank you. Heard, remember, haven't you heard? Put your hand behind your ear, heard. Power, power. That is the last line, power words, power words. Well, power and then words Hold your hands open next to your mouth like this. So it goes power word. So let's practice and then I'll play it. We'll just practice the chorus. I'll play the chorus. Would you like to play with me? Sure, I'd love to. Yes, sirree. Please and thank you. Haven't you heard? These are my power words that's how it goes so let's play it just the chorus go so when we do that again it's just during the chorus we don't do it during the rest of the song just during the chorus we do those hand things and hand gestures so we'll do that every time they sing the chorus so anyway I want you guys just to remember how we speak kindly when we use kind words People aren't hurt by our words. We use good words to people and use kind words, then we make people feel better. But remember, we can really hurt people if we use unkind words and say bad, mean things to them. So I just need you guys to remember that, okay? I'll be back later with another Alice Pals lesson. Bye, guys.